You know, we're here at the end of September and we're already into a really good harvest. And it gives us a great opportunity to start thinking about next year. It's never too soon. You know, at the end of September is the perfect time for you and I as we work with our ag chem suppliers. And you're starting to think about pulling in hydrous tanks or lining up nitrogen. It's really gonna beg the question, when we go out in the fall, how much? In other words, how many pounds of N are you and I really gonna apply? And what makes us think? Because we know that timing is everything. And so we're all farming for dollars. And at the end of the day, it's about how do you and I, with a simple management system, add $20 an acre? So let's make the easy math in front of the camera. 1,000 acres, $20,000 extra. Let's jump into it and talk about how you and I manage that. Now, there is an option in the fall of the year. You can go out and be a once and done guy. We see it all the time. And I understand that concept because it's talking about checking the box. And we get that out of the way. I hear a lot of growers tell me, Greg, I had a great fall. And you know what? I got all my nitrogen on and I'm so relieved it's done with. And I'm sitting there and my belly's tight and I'm thinking, what in the world are you doing with all your in on now? Because how in the world are you smart enough 10 months ahead of harvest, do you and I know the amount that we need to put on to be what I call in the sweet spot? The whole goal is for you and I to use the least amount of inputs and maximize the maximum amount of output. So maximize yields with the least amount is the goal. And for us, we talk about it all the time here at 360. And we talk about a base plus. And we say, how do you and I, we put on a base. That's what the base plus, and the plus is using a wide drop to come in later. The perfect thing for us is with the planter. And so we won't put any in on, we'll put some in on our corn on corn. So if we're on a corn on corn, I'll have 40 units of in on to help Mike and his team just break down residue. Usually ammonia sulfate in a liquid. Come in immediately after harvest, we'll spread that on. But in a bean ground side, if we're gonna go corn on soybeans, we're gonna wait for this planter pass. In our case, we're gonna come in of 80 pounds with Bandit, and we're gonna have it on 40 on each side of that seed, and that's where we're gonna start. The efficiency of a band with a planter. When you come in of a band and the planter, we consider that to be 2X the value over a broadcast in the spring. And so we're gonna come in and the planter, we're gonna put 80 pounds on at planting, and then we're gonna wait. Because if you and I are gonna capture $20 an acre, it's gonna take patience, which is really hard for Greg, because I'm not really big on patience. But I understand how to work with nature, and we'll never outguess. So if you told me in the fall of 17 here, you went out of your anhydrous rig and you put on pick an imaginary number, 215 pounds of N with N-serve, I'm gonna stutter my mind a little bit. I'm gonna put you down probably in the B category, not an A grower from the standpoint, I'll never convince me you have it right. You're either gonna have way too much or you're not gonna have enough and you're gonna start to pull back. Remember, corn can never have a bad day. And we realize that every kernel on an ear of corn in length is worth six bushel to you. And so if we start to blow off tips here because we ran out of in, and we blow off five to six tips or kernels, we're looking at what, 35 bushel? And 35 bushel, even in a $3 corn market, is enough to get us pretty interested. So let's talk about the base plus system. In our case, we're gonna come in and we're gonna have 80 pounds on and we're gonna sit. If it's going to be corn on corn, I'm gonna be more up about 125 pounds we got to pay the carbon penalty. And so, depending upon what you're at, but if you're going to do corn on soybeans, we're going to be at 80, and we're going to wait. And we're going to use the soil scan, and the soil scan is going to tell us when we need to start to react. Because we don't know where the gas tank is in those fields. But in our case, we're going to come in in central Illinois, 
in about that June 1st time frame, we'll start coming in the field and we got the different soil types that are out there. And we'll come out and we'll pull a couple soil scan 12 inch cores. And we're gonna read exactly where's our nitrates. And so we know when to react. We're looking for the tank to get pretty low. We're always in parts per million of nitrates. And so when I get to 10 parts per million of nitrate, I start to react. In our case, when we say react, we're in a growing crop. We're gonna use Y drop. And so we're gonna come in with the Y drop and we're gonna come in. And now we're talking about timing and placement. So we got our corn growing out here. And we're going to start to position nitrogen right at the base of the plant where our root system is right underneath it. And so this is what we mean by positioning in to work really, really efficient for you. So we're going to let the soil scan readings tell us versus coming in where we would have come in early, say, of a colder in the center of the row. And you can go out and watch our videos and you can see the Dr. Mulvaney, the, the uh, nitrogen about what we call uh, nuclear in, and you can see the kind of response we get that. So instead of coming at the in center of the row, we're going to come in and position it right beside the stalk on both sides. And all of a sudden, our efficiency starts to go way up. Remember the goal. We want you to be in the 0.7 club pounds of in per bushel versus we know it takes 1.1 pounds of in to equal bushel. That's science. You can't change that. But you and I can work with nature. So where does the difference come in? If Greg's raising a bushel of corn for 0.7, it comes in with the mineralization of nitrogen in the soil. So we realize there's lots of nitrogen down here in this soil profile. And microbials are in here and they're releasing this and the plant's gonna take that up. And every time you and I get mineralization happening, we don't write any checks. So how much mineralization can you look for? Let's just use an easy number to remember. So every percentage point of organic matter. So for every percent of organic matter, you can use 20 to 25 pounds of free nitrogen. In other words, free means you have no money at all spent. So if you have a 4% organic matter, you could be looking as much as 100 pounds of nitrogen free, okay? That 100 pounds is what you and I didn't have to write a check for. So if Greg's gonna put on 80, I'm gonna have a two pass Y drop plan. Doesn't mean we're gonna utilize it. I'm gonna watch my gas tank and I'm gonna see the level coming down and we get down to 10 parts per million of nitrate, I'm gonna fire up Y drop and I'm gonna come in. In our case, I'm gonna come in and put 100 pounds across the board on. So now I'm sitting at 180. And once again, I'm gonna wait. When do I make this pass? Shoulder high corn. I'm at shoulder high corn. I'm now sitting at 180. I'm gonna let nature continue to work if the year is going really well and we're having perfect growing condition. There's a real reality and I've seen it already this year. This year, we got 185 pounds of starter on with starter and the 180 here, five pounds with a starter, and we're raising over 250 bushel corn. And you start to do the math, and you say, wait a minute, Greg, that's even better than a 0.7. And those are the types of things get my motor running pretty high. So let's quickly review. For you and I to go out in the fall and not leave ourselves some moving room to work with nature. I realize you could have the wettest season ever like we did in 2015, we'll just come and put more on. I better believe me, I don't be a once and done guy in 2015 where we had 200 units at risk. I'd much rather have 80 units at risk with the planter and then catch up to that corn crop after the rain stops falling in June, July. That's what happened in 15. We came in, we treat it and V10, V12 corn above my head and we had tremendous yield response. Yes, we spent a little more. But what about in 2012 in my area when we had a drought? And we had it all on in 2012 ahead of time. Didn't have Y drop then. And I had 240 pounds of anon and raised 60, 70 bushel corn due to the drought. So I love the idea of having the flexibility to move left or move right and work of nature. Base Plus does that for us. And if you and I are going to raise 20 
dollars or raise get twenty dollars savings more per acre then we're going to have to become flexible and utilize technology like white drop so thanks for listening send those questions in if you have questions we'd love to walk side by side with you at 360 and take you to another whole place of profitability.